You want to know how to play Yahtzee? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Yahtzee. Let's go. If you've seen other videos on my channel, you know that I over explain, make it super simple and make it so that anybody can learn to play a game. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Yahtzee as if you're brand new to the game. And then I'm going to do a walkthrough of the whole game. If you want to know how to get good at Yahtzee, you're in luck. The second video I have is not how to play Yahtzee. It's how to win at Yahtzee. And it gives you good strategy tips on how to win. Well, there isn't much you need to know to Yahtzee. There is five dice. And then the other thing is every person playing just needs a piece of paper, which is looks like this. Usually they come with Yahtzee, but you also can go online. I'll put a link in the description and print them out. Yahtzee can be played, in my opinion, with as many players as you want. I mean, at some point, you don't want to be wasting too long for everyone to take their turn. So usually four is a good number, but you could do five, six... <laughs> The goal of the game, Yahtzee, is to score the most points. The points come from rolling the dice. We're going to get into all of that in a second. Rolling the dice and then scoring on the scorecard. But let's just talk about gameplay. Well, the gameplay is very simple. It goes in a circle. Every single person on their turn takes the cup with the five dice in it, and you roll all five dice in the cup. You have three rolls, and at the end of those three rolls, whatever is on those dice is your roll, and then you put it in your scorecard. Now, that's the basic statement, but there's a little more to it than that. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get the most amount of points you can in each of these 13 scoring categories. And I'm going to go over that those 13 scoring categories in a second. And each turn, you're looking to fill in with the maximum number of points, one of those scoring categories. And there's strategy that comes with that, which I'm going to explain in a second. Now, I said before that you roll three times the five dice. It's actually not exactly true. The way it works is you roll the five dice on your first of three rolls when it's your turn, and you can pick up as many of your dice as you want and re-roll them. If you on the first turn, love with what you've rolled and don't want to take a second turn to roll, you can do that. You can stop at one. You can stop at two. But what you're trying to do is determine what you have that you can get the most points on and you then can pick up only picking up the dice that you want to re-roll. You don't have to pick up all five dice. You don't have to pick up, you could pick up four dice. You could pick up three dice. At the end of your third roll, whatever the five dice are showing, you need to then put that in one of the 13 categories on the scorecard. So that means that the strategy is really in the scorecard. Yahtzee actually is an expression which stands for... I have no idea, but Yahtzee means you got all five dice to be the same number. So five fives is a Yahtzee. Five threes is a Yahtzee. Beyond that, that's just the name of the game. So let's get into what the categories are, and that's important to understand the rolling. So just a quick recap. A player rolls five dice to begin a turn. Then they can take up to two turns doing re-rolls, and each re-roll they can re-roll any dice that they want of their five. And after all three rolls, you can't roll anymore, and you have to choose which category to score that number. There's 13 categories. Let's talk about the scoring. Well, look at the score sheet. On the top end of the score sheet, it says here ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. And these are actually very straightforward. It's on a turn, you could just try to see how many ones you get, how many twos you get, how many threes you get. And at the end, you add up the total of those numbers and put them in the category. You are going to put a number for each one of these. If you can't put your number somewhere in a category, you have to put zero. So at one point, you got to go for each of the six numbers, and however many you get, you add it up and put it in the card. And then the one extra thing about that is, in the scoring, they actually want you to add them up here, and I'll get into the scoring more deeply in a second, but if you come up with a certain number, if when you add up one, th two, three, four, five, six, all the uh, of these categories, if you have a total of at least 63 points across these six boxes, you actually get a bonus 35 points added to your score. Let's go on to what's below. These are interesting because instead of going to a specific number, these bottom ones could really be anything. And a lot of it's sort of like 
poker. So this first one, three of a kind, what does it mean? It just means you need to have three of a kind. So you need to have, say, three fours in order to put any points on this line. Now, a few things about that is if you have four fours and you still want to put it on this three of a kind line, that's fine because you need a minimum of a three of a kind. But if you only had, say, two fours, then you actually have to put zero. If you don't have three of a kind, you got to put zero. Now, what makes this different from, say, the ones up above is the ones up above, you're going for a specific digit, one, two, three, four, five, or six. This can be any three of a kind. And the other difference is that when you add up your points on this one, you add up the sum of all five dice, not just the three of a kind. In the above half of the scoring card, you're only adding up the dice that you make. So if you're going for fives and you get four fives, you're only adding up the fives. You're not adding up the fifth die. Here, you're adding all five dies. Then the next one is sort of the same thing, but a little, little bit harder. You need to have a minimum of four of a kind. Now, this is is the same sort of thing. You add up the total number of the five dice, not just the four of a kind. And if you don't get four of a kind, you actually have to put zero. Next is a full house. What is a full house? Well, it's just like poker. It's a three of a kind and a pair together. So it'd be like three fives and two ones. It's a three of a kind and a pair. And in this particular case, you don't add up the sum total of the dice by just getting a full house. And that means any three of a kind and any pair, you actually can put 25 points down. The next ones are straights. A straight is a sequential number. So one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five, six. There's a small straight and a large straight. A small straight just means four of the five dice have a sequential number, one, two, three, four, and you get 30 points for that. The large straight means you have to have all five dice in a sequential number. So that means one, two, three, four, five, or essentially two, three, four, five, six. Those are the only two ways to get a large straight with five dice in this game. If you don't get it, you get zero. If you do get it, you get 40 points. Next is Yahtzee. Now that's the hardest thing here on the board to get. And I'll play Yahtzee 10 times, and maybe I'll only get a Yahtzee during my games twice. Yahtzee is very rare. It's worth 50 points, and a Yahtzee is all five dice showing the same number. Now there's one other thing on here, and that's called chance. The chance is basically just like an extra thing. Whatever the value of the five points are, you can put them there. But where chance is good is that let's say you're going to go for something, but you don't get it. For example, let's say you're going for your large straight where you need to have one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six, and you're really, really close, but after the third roll, you just didn't get it. And you're like, I don't want to put a zero yet on my large straight. I want to take a, you know, maybe my next turn, I'll take another chance at trying to get my large straight. Well, you can then put the sum total of those five dice on your chance line. So in other words, it's sort of like your mulligan. And it's good that you have it, although you only have one. Now, real quick, if you get a Yahtzee, you get 50 points. But if you get another Yahtzee, you actually get 100 points. And that's important, too, because getting a second Yahtzee is, an, is a bonus 100 points. That's, that's almost enough to just guarantee you're going to win. Let's face it, that's, that's a lot of points. And on your Yahtzee scorecard, you have the ability to actually write second Yahtzees and get bonus points. Okay, now let's play it. So, this is me, Puzzling Games, and here's our scorecard. So my first roll, I got a 1, a 4, a 6, a 3. Well, I have two 6s, so I'm going to keep the 6s. And I'm going to roll the second time. And I got a 1 and a 1 and a 6. I'll keep the third 6. And I'll roll that third time. And I got another 6. Three rolls. Now I have to declare what I'm going to do. So let's look at what I have. I could put them down on the 6s. Where you add up the total of the four 6s. Which is 24. But I also have a 4 of a kind here. So I could also add up the sum total of all 5 dice. Give me 28. Which I think I'll do. Because it's hard to get a four of a kind. Who knows if I'll get another one. Now my opponent got two sixes and three sixes. And he'll actually stick with all of them. So my opponent got a full house. Now it's my turn. I roll again. I've got a one, a two, a four, a five, and a five. I could maybe try to re-roll one and try to get one, two, three, four, five. That would be my large straight. I could maybe just save the fives and try to get more fives. Which actually I think is what I'm going to do. And I got another five, and I get one more roll, and I got another five. So I got four fives. I've already played my four of a kind. You can only play it once, and once it's been played, you can't put another number in there. I'm going to go ahead and maybe, I guess, play four fives. The sum total of four fives is 20. So I'll put it there. 
My opponent rolls. He gets two sixes. And he ends up with two sixes. My turn, I will roll my dice. I have a one, I have a two, I have a three, and I have a five. Well, I'm going to take the risk of trying to get a four. Thus, I'll have a large straight. So I'll re-roll this. Give me a four. Nope. I'll re-roll it. Give me a four. Nope. So I tried to go for a large straight. I didn't get it. Now all I have is the option of chance. Or what I'll probably do is since I have a two twos, I'll just put it on my twos. And it's my opponent is rolling and got two threes. My turn is I roll again. I have this time a six, five, and a four, but two sixes. I think I'll go for the sixes since I don't have my sixes yet. Here, the scorecard here on the right, if it's red, it's just showing you what the score is that you have in this current roll, but black is my actually etched in rolls. Roll again. Uh, two more sixes. Uh oh, I have one more roll coming with this last roll. Maybe I can get a Yahtzee. Here we go. No, but I did get four sixes, so I can put four sixes on my sixes. And you remember, you only add up the sixes, not all five dice here. And so now it's my opponent's turn. I'm doing pretty good on the upper end. Well, my opponent has rolled. Now it's my turn to roll the dice. And I've got a three, a three, a five, a five, and a six. Well, I could go for my threes and try to get more threes. I could keep the two threes and the two fives, roll that six again to try to get a full house, which would mean I would either need that fifth dice to be another five or a three to make a three of a kind and a pair, which is probably what I'll do. I'll save these. And now I just need this last dice to either be a three or a five, and I have a full house. And it's a five, so I'll take it as a full house. Or I could just keep the five, dump my threes, and try to go for something more. In this case, I want the full house. So I'm filling things in pretty well. I haven't really started to go after... So he had a three of a... He's playing a three of a kind. I roll my dice... I'm looking at it. I've got a six, a five, a three, a five, and a five. So it's three fives. And I don't have a three of a... I have my fives done, but I don't have this three of a kind done here. So I might as well go for the three fives. I know I'll be playing it as a three of a kind now. And maybe I'll try to get a Yahtzee. Roll these other two. Well, that's a two fours, which is a full house. But I don't need a full house anymore. I already have a full house. So roll again. And I'll just put it as a three of a kind. I could also put it as a chance or something else, but three of a kind is there. But now I've filled up my three of a kind, four of a kind, full house. I still need that large straight, that small straight, a Yahtzee, and I still need my ones, threes, and fours. So here's my turn again. This time I've got a six, a five, a four, and a three. Well, that's already a small straight, so let's take that, and let's try to re-roll this. If I can get a two in the next two rolls, then that is a large straight. Nope. Nope, so I'll have to take it as my small straight, which is 30 points. So now I'm down to you know, only about five or six rolls left. I still need a Yahtzee, but I also have a chance in case I screw up something. So let's keep going. I've got a two, a two, a two, a six, and a three. Well, I already have my twos, so there, and there's no and I already have a three of a kind. So there's really nothing here. I think I'm going to actually re-roll all five dice, since really nothing here helps me. Well, I guess I have two ones. I could put it on my ones and have a third roll to try to get more ones. Let's, so let's try that. And if I don't get it, I'll just have to use a chance. One more roll. And I only got the two ones. I mean, I could put a four down and just put it four here, as you see. I could put on my chance at 17, where you add up the sum total of the five dice. But I guess I'll just put it on my ones. I, I, um, the game is now getting close to the end, and we're going to add this up. My opponent looks like he's filled in his fours. My turn. I still need threes, fours, a large straight, and a Yahtzee. And I still have my chance. Wow, I've got four fours, so I'm going to go for my fours. Maybe with this last roll, I can get that Yahtzee. Come on, four. One more roll. Come on, four. Nope, so I'll take the four fours on my four. Okay. 
Oh, you know, it's hard to get a large straight, and I don't have one yet, so I've only got a couple chances left. Uh Uh-oh, and my opponent just got a Yahtzee. So I, that's a lot of points. That's 50 points. So it's my turn again. Six, five, four, three, three. Now I could go for my threes and try to roll, or I could just try to go for the large straight again. I would need to get a two, which I think I'm going to do because I haven't used my chance yet. And if I don't get it, I'll use it on my chance. Give me a two. Yes, I got my large straight. So I only have threes left, Yahtzee, and chance left. My opponent got a large straight as well. All right, this is going to be a close game. I better get that Yahtzee. So I got one three. Maybe I'll just keep the three and re-roll everything and try to get more threes, which I didn't. So let's roll again, which I got zero threes. I'm ending up with one three. I could put it on my chance. And I th- I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my threes just because I thought maybe I won't even get any threes in the next turn. So I have to get a chance and a Yahtzee still. My opponent looks like he got four of a kind. Oh, he's getting everything he wants. I need only my chance or my Yahtzees. Well, I've got two fours, a two, a three, and a five. I guess I'm going for my Yahtzee with fours. Reroll. Nope. Reroll. Well, I didn't get the Yahtzee because I got four fours. I didn't get five fours. I can take it on my chance, though. The only thing I have left now is I either get a Yahtzee on the next turn or I get a zero on that. My opponent got a small straight. The only thing he has left really is the ones, which is easy. So I guess I'm going for a Yahtzee. I'll try it with two sixes and I got to roll again. Nope. And roll again. And I got to put a zero on my Yahtzee. So my opponent's last turn, all he has left is ones. And so let's go ahead and now look at the scores. On the ones, twos, threes, fours, five, six, I had a sum total of 69, so I was able to get the bonus of 35 points. My opponent only got 50 by adding up these top rows, so he did not get the bonus of 35 points. As far as three of a kind, I got 25, adding up the value of my five dice. I got 28 on four of a kind. We both got the points for full house. We both got the 30 the 30 points for small spray, straight. We both got the 40 points for large. We both took chance and it was similar He got the 50 points where I did not get the 50 points, but the sum total was I have 273 and he had 259. I won, but I got to tell you, that was a close game. Had I not gotten that 35 bonus points, I would have lost. Now, don't stop here. I want you to keep going to my more strategic Yahtzee video on how to win at Yahtzee, where I'm going to actually show you winning strategies on how to think in terms of what dice to roll and re-roll, how to really maximize your scorecard, how to understand dice probability, and get into the minutia of really what it takes to win. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't noticed all the other videos I make, check them out. And if there's a video you want me to be playing, let me know. Thank you.